everybody, it's me, Angela Walters, your favorite midnight quilter, and in this episode, we're gonna make a quilt that's pretty as a flower. I've got all my supplies ready, I have my fabric, my piecing potion, and my snacks, so let's get to it. I love working with fabric panels because they're the perfect jumpstart to a quilt. Whether you're using little pillow panels or big fabric panels, they're just too much fun. With this quilt, we're using the Flora and Foliage pillow panel that I designed, but a large scale fabric would work as well. It's the perfect spot for any fabric that you just can't cut up. In addition to that beautiful floral pillow panel, I put together some fabrics that are gonna complement it perfectly. From the nice raspberry color print with some blues and maroons and navies, we couldn't have a flora bouquet quilt without a beautiful floral print. Of course, you can purchase this kit on our website or get the pattern and come up with your own arrangement. And if these colors aren't quite your thing, we do have a different color option with beautiful purples and blues and a rainbow of colors. Well, now that I decided on the one I'm making, it's time to start cutting. First up, we're gonna trim up these pillow panels. And then it's time to trim up these fabrics. And since this quilt uses some half square triangles, I'm gonna cut some wider strips and then subcut those into squares. I'm gonna cut some bigger squares and some little squares. And soon we'll see how this all comes together. Now that I'm finished, I have some squares and some strips and I'm ready to start putting this beautiful quilt together. Like all great quilts, this one starts off with some half square triangles and we're gonna use the four at a time technique to make them, super easy. We're gonna take two squares and put them right sides together. I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam around all four sides and then chop that sucker in half diagonally twice to reveal four half square triangles. Then a quick press, and then we'll trim them down to the right size. We're about to be half square triangle rich here in a second, making lots of different HST blocks. So having the right size ruler for trimming them down will really make it a lot quicker and smoother. I can simply align that diagonal line on the seam, trim around all four sides, and then move on to the next. And let's be honest, when I'm making a quilt with this many half square triangles, I wanna make it as easy as possible. It's a good thing I have this down pat because we're gonna be making several of these in different color arrangements to put together our quilt. So I'm gonna keep doing that and then we'll see how they all come together. And for those of you out there that might have more perfectionistic tendencies, these are cut big enough so that you can trim them down to the right size. Meaning even if that fabric shifts around a little bit, it's fine, it's gonna be trimmed off later. And let's be honest, we don't need special tools to get the job done, but man, sometimes when the tools are pretty, it just makes it feel so much better. I do like it when my iron matches my fabric. It always means good piecing is ahead. There's not gonna be any bad seams. And I'm kind of breaking this up, kind of doing one block at a time and trimming it down, but if you're doing this, you can batch it. You can do all the sewing around the edges, do all the trimming, and then all the ironing. It just depends on what your preferences are with that. And there's a lot of different fabric arrangements we're gonna be doing with this quilt. So if you're like me and tend to make mistakes, you can make all your fabric pairings first and then sew around them and then trim them down. There's something really satisfying about watching the scraps and the pieces pile up and I don't know, it just, it makes my heart so happy. Happy like wooka wooka. All right, I'm gonna finish making up my half square triangles and then we'll see how these come together. All right, now that those are done, it's time to take these little blocks and make a bigger block that's gonna go around our beautiful panel or depending on what you're working on, large scale print. So it's gonna start with this half square triangle and we're gonna put a little bit of piece on top and bottom and then put the longer ones on the side. Basically, it's just a little frame to make that beautiful navy pop out. And these pieces are small enough that you don't have to pin them. I mean, who am I kidding? I probably wouldn't pin them even if they were bigger. Now 
And once this little cutie is done, we're gonna add even more to it using our half square triangles and those smaller squares that we cut earlier. If you're making this quilt along with me, take a second and make sure the fabric placement is correct. I wanna see these angles go in the same direction. This fabric should come together to make one solid piece and that is gonna act as that beautiful frame around our center half square triangle. Once I've assured myself it is correct, it's laid out the way it should be, I'm gonna sew the block together. And when you're finished, you have an adorable little block, but we can't have a bouquet with just one color fabric. So I'm gonna make this again with some different color arrangements and then show you what it looks like when I'm finished. This quilt uses four variations of the block we just made. And they might look similar, but there's some subtle variations that are gonna be very important when we arrange the blocks of our quilt. So here's the block I just made. You're gonna see I have one with all the same color fabrics and these two those are the tricky ones. They're very, very similar, except the fabric placement of this one. It's time to arrange these beauties into one gorgeous quilt. Now it's time to pull out that pillow panel or that large print fabric you might be using. That's gonna be the centerpiece of our bouquet. And then we're gonna arrange these blocks around two sides of it. And those background fabrics are gonna to come together and all we're gonna see are those beautiful prints shining. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes this can get a little bit tricky with the arrangement of it, but here's a little trick. These fabrics are gonna come together and these fabrics are what's gonna give it that kind of setting, that kind of frame look. I know that might not make sense yet, but when we put this whole quilt together, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. So all I have to do now is sew these together and then we'll add the borders. Once I have those setting blocks added, it's time to put a few more borders on here with a solid piece of fabric and then some pieced borders. These piece borders were made with half square triangles and a couple strips of fabric, and they're really gonna add that piece de resistance to the whole quilt. Once I get this all pieced together, we'll have the first quadrant of our quilt, and then we'll finally get to see it all come together. So let me get to sewing. Once that's all sewed together, we actually have the first quarter of our quilt. The second quadrant of the quilt is made the same as the first, except it's a mirror image of each other. And this is great, because this is gonna allow those fabrics to come together and give it that really neat secondary effect. Once I have these sewn together, I'm gonna do the same on the other side, and then I'll have the center of my quilt finished. And this quilt top is finished. Well, mostly. I still have a couple more steps to do. I'm gonna use these strips to add pretty borders around the outside, and then I'm gonna make my quilt sandwich and get it quilted. For the backing fabric, I'm gonna use this beautiful watermelon print that's really gonna pull out some of that color on the front. So I'm gonna get the borders on, get it quilted, probably bind it, we'll see, that one's up in the air, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's completely done. And this quilt is finished. I just love how the pillow panels give me the perfect jump start to a beautiful quilt. And using those half square triangles to create those beautiful frames and secondary patterns in the quilt is just the icing on the bouquet cake. And when it comes to the quilting, I thought I'd take it nice and easy with an all over floral design that's really gonna let the fabric and the pattern shine. And don't forget, if you wanna get your hands on this quilt kit or the other color option, or maybe you just wanna get the pattern so you can use your own fabric placement, just scan the QR code or click the link in the description box below. And to watch more episodes of The Midnight Quilter, visit quiltingismytherapy.com. And I'll be back soon with another episode. And until then, everyone, happy quilting.